Dave Palumbo here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. And guys, I just came into my snake room and havoc. Havoc is going on here. What do I mean? First of all, the first thing no snake keeper wants to see is a tub left open. And as you can see, I came into my room and last night I must have been cleaning and I think my son started crying over in the house and I ran over and it's open and there's nothing in there. Gone. I had a female and a male in there breeding and not there. So we're going to have to go on a hunt for them. But before we get to that, I was doing some egg checking and I have some snakes laying eggs. Unfortunately, they don't look very good. So let's, let's peek in. We don't want to disturb them too much. Let's see what's going on. This girl never seems to lay good eggs for me. I don't know why. She's my uh, Cinnabee Woma, which is a cinnamon spider Woma. I don't want to disturb her too much. We're going to open up really, really slow. She just laid an egg. If you look at the tail end of her, these eggs, unfortunately, are slugs, meaning they're infertile eggs. Um, she definitely has some more eggs. If you look at the, towards her tail, you can see, I don't want to touch her too much because she's obviously in very defensive mode. She's got some more eggs in her for certain. Will they be more slugs? We won't know until she finishes delivering. We're going to leave her alone and see what she does. But it doesn't look good. When you see three slugs right off the bat, that doesn't really instill confidence in me. This is my killer clown which is a super pastel clown. I'm really upset by seeing all these slugs when I opened up this thing. There's four, five slugs laying in here, six slugs. She looks like she still may have some more eggs in her, but if she's delivered six slugs, as you can see, these are really not very, these are not fertile eggs. We'll candle them later, but it um, doesn't look very promising. The funny thing is I had a male in with her. I had a um, leopard, spot nose pastel head clowning with her for months and i saw a lot of locks and breeding so that just goes to show you when you see locks it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get fertile eggs she laid a good clutch of eggs two years ago for me and they were fine so i don't know what happened here i wasn't using that male back then maybe the male didn't have good sperm i'm not sure we're going to let her finish but this is one of the things in, you know with snake breeding not every clutch works out the way you want it to and this was a really, really big one that I was hoping for, and it just doesn't look like it's gonna work out. So let's, we'll let her finish laying whatever she's got in her, and we'll close this up. But right now I have escaped snakes. So you have to say to yourself, when there is an escaped snake, where are they gonna go? They're gonna go where the heat is, okay? They're not gonna go where it's cold. So they're not, they're not gonna just be uh, philanthering around the, the, the snake room. They're gonna be curled up somewhere. Now that can be either in one of the racks, which I kind of did a superficial look at, or where there's other heat sources, the freezer, the incubator, because the freezer will give off a lot of heat. Um, so we can try to like look behind here and see if we see her. So we're at the refrigerator. I pulled out the refrigerator, guys, and I see one of, one of the escapees just back there. That's my sterling pied <laughs> nail. Let's see if I can get back there and grab him. Hopefully he comes willingly. All right, we got him. That's one. That's one on the recapture list. Now we got to look for the next one. This girl that's out, she's pretty thick. I'm sweating my ass off looking for the snake, but they're pretty predictable. Usually they don't go up too high because ball pythons are not really climbers. Watch this. There she is, my sterling genetic stripe. Let's get this baby out of here. Oh, she don't want to come out now. Okay, here she is. Good girl. All we would have needed is to have her lay a clutch of eggs <laughs> under there. That would have been a nightmare. All right, guys, well, another day at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Success, we found the two snakes that escaped. We got the two egg, uh, snakes laying eggs. They don't look too good, but who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll pull out one or two good ones at the end of the day. I'll let you guys know. If you enjoy all the content, make sure you hit subscribe below and let me know if you want to see any specific videos or any specific snakes. I'm Dave Palumbo for another installment of Muscle Serpents University.